Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody here and give a very special thanks for you guys sharing your time with us on this day as we make this announcement. I have two friends up here with me, known each other for a long time, Mary Page and Tan. And you guys had an announcement that you wanted to say? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but that, that was more fun for me than them. In all seriousness, um, we do want to say thank you for being here. Tomorrow is what? And what do we celebrate on July 4th? Independence Day. Tomorrow is Independence Day. And how old is this country? Mm. I already did the math. It is 238 years old. So tomorrow we celebrate a notion, a concept, that we declared our independence 238 years ago. And as we do that this holiday weekend, we would like to ask people to reflect on how this country has changed in those 238 years. It's a lot different. It's different even for you guys today than it was for me when I was your age. But not only has it impacted us, not only has it changed in so many positive ways, but the changes that this country has seen has affected wildlife as well. And one of the truths that we deal with is that the world is getting less and less wild every year. And whether it's the Asian elephant in Asia, whether it's the painted dog in Africa, or whether it's fox and mountain lion here in Kansas, wildlife is having to react to the way human population is changing throughout the world. This morning, we would like to share a story with you about an American black bear. Today, as we stand here in the Hills Black Bear Woods exhibit on the eve of Independence Day, it's easy for us to look at the bear, see the Americana in it, see how American black bears relate so much to our culture, to Native American culture, one in the constellation. But the range of the black bear has changed dramatically as people moved west through this country over that 238 years. And what we have seen around the world, but this is an opportunity to take a look at this very close to home, is that wildlife is dealing a lot these days with human conflict. And the story we would like to share with you this morning starts in Oregon. And we're going to try to uh, make the... There we go. I'm going to step right here so you guys can see. Uh, what you're seeing is video that was captured in Myrtle Creek, Oregon. And the story is one that unfortunately isn't necessarily that uncommon. A little boy out for a walk, walks past a bush, hears some noise, lo and behold, guess what's under the bush? A little bear cub. And it was recognized mostly due to the malnutrition that had occurred with this bear, that this bear was an orphan. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife though also was not uh, that well equipped to provide long-term care for a six pound malnourished bear cub. Uh, we're gonna now try to go to a live feed of where this bear cub is today. The question that I have for Ian and Mary Faye, do you guys know where that is? No. It happens to be just on the other side of this wall. <laughs> Would you like to go meet? Yes! <laughs> Independence. This bear named aptly well 
on the eve of Independence Day that our staff knows as Indy that represents a future here where we can continue to connect people to wildlife so that you can be inspired to make a difference for the wildlife that lives around you.